The Brave Little Crab, written by Beth Costanzo and illustrated by Katerina Elena. Once there was a little crab, the cutest crab you ever saw. He looked a little strange on sand, since he was missing one front claw. The little crab knew he was different, not at all like all the rest. It was hard for him to move. Of course, he always tried his best. The other crabs wouldn't play with him, and they would laugh and stare. The little crab stayed by himself. It was hard for him to bear. One day, a nasty hurricane blew up the coast with speed. It pushed a crab between two rocks, then entangled in the reeds. The trap crab tried to push his way out from underneath the sea. He wanted to be back at home. He wanted loose. He wanted free. The other crabs came by to save him. They had tried and hoped to help, but they made the matter worse. He was too snarled in the kelp. Oh no! cried a worried crab. Whatever will we need to do? We must find something small to help us push him out and through. The little crab sat listening to what was happening there. He knew that he could help the crab. He waved his claw and had no fear. Look at me, I'm small and brave. I can help the crab break free. I can squeeze and push him out. I know I can. Let me, let me. The other crab spoke all together, standing on the grainy sand. Could this crab rescue our friend when he only had one hand? The little crab went quick to work. He drew a detailed rescue plan. The other crab stood still and stared. He dug a tunnel in the sand. The little crab climbed and squeezed between the rocks and jumbled reeds. He pushed the larger crab and said, "I hope this works. It's all you need." He tried and tried and tried again. The upset crab was tightly stuck. The plan didn't work for the little crab, and he was running out of luck. The little crab knew in his heart he couldn't panic, couldn't fail. I need to move this friend in soon. A happy ending for this tale. The little crab then braced himself. He counted with a large, loud roar. He gathered strength of ten more crabs. One, two, three, four. The larger crab then catapulted from the kelp wrapped rocks below. The little crab's brave act of courage was really quite a mighty show. You're the best, my little friend. Thank you for saving me. You being different saved the day, helped me out, and now I'm free. All the crabs now gathered round. They clapped and gave a cheer, grateful for the little crab and glad that he was there. They lifted up the little crab. They raised him high up to the sky. We're delighted to say thank you. Happy that you worked and tried. Little crab then bowed with pleasure. He said, "Now let's have some fun." He waved his claw, said, "Tag, you're it. I'm after you. You better run." Little crab knew he was special. He was rare and custom made. He wouldn't dwell on his missing claw. He would never be afraid. Remember, different can be good. You might not look like all the rest. Think about the little crab and always try to do your best. The end.